to my channel. If you're new, please go ahead, like, share, and subscribe. Today, I'm not feeling like myself. Right now, I'm in my car, as you can see. I'm supposed to go in that store behind me, but trying to find the strength just to get out the car um this video is about me really and I get asked this question a lot um, for those who don't know I'm a transplant patient I'm a heart transplant patient and um, I've been living on a LVAD machine for two years um, until I got the transplant in 2019, in December. This time, this time um, in 2019, I, I was admitted to the hospital. I was in the hospital, you know. Um, waiting on a heart but I got a lot of um, a lot of questions I got a lot of questions from different people um, questions like what how does it feel knowing that I have you know somebody else's heart beating in my chest and um, how do I feel mentally about it and what my family thinks, how they feel, what was going through my head before and after. A lot of questions. And um, I'm going to answer, I'm going to, you know, answer one of the questions today. And um, it's the one that I've been asked the most. How do I feel about it? The whole, you know, the whole thing. The heart beating in my chest. You know, knowing that I'm walking around with somebody else's heart. And all that. To be honest, I never really like talking about it because I look at I look at it two ways. Somebody has to die for me to live. And the fact that, you know, it changed my whole entire life. Having a transplant, you have to live on medication for the rest of your life, you know, and some of these medication can cause different problems, you know. As for me, it caused diabetes. So yes, I have to be on insulin. It's a lot. I'm sorry it it takes a lot out of me honestly I've gained weight I lost hair I can't do some of the things most of the things that I used to do you know like work for instance because I can't stand too long I can't sit too long I still have chest pains from the, you know, the cut and all that. I'm on steroids and the steroids cause a lot of different things to happen, you know, within my body and because of that, I can't work, you know, regular jobs. So I do my little makeup and thing, you know, that I can manage 
but to be honest I feel like this just put me in a box like where I can't get out of I'm just being honest and I don't want to I don't want to sound sound you know not thankful or you know because I'm really grateful I'm really thankful but I don't feel like myself you know I just feel like I'm on the back burner and I want to do things I want to I want to go out and work again and I can't do it. I went on so many interviews. So many interviews and um, I don't like to lie on my interviews. If they ask about my health, I'ma tell them the truth, you know? And I think because of that, most of them don't hire me and I'm fine with that because, you know, nobody wanna be reliable for certain things. But not only that, I have kids, I have three kids, and it's so difficult to even try. Sometimes they want to go out and play with me, but I can't do it because my body won't let me. And it's just frustrating. I do my I can do my house cleaning, you know, you know, wifely stuff. I still do my wifely duties, but that again is a hard task. There's certain time when I can't even, you know, manage to bathe my own self because I'm in so much pain my back because of the steroids my breasts grow like they grew like huge and that put a strain on my back and I and um I spoke with my doctors about it, my breast. They um, sent me to see a, a surgeon. The surgeon says because um, of the situation with me and the diabetes and all that, it's not safe to do anything about my breast. So I'm here suffering. Let me get them out the, the, the thing because I don't want any you know so I'm suffering so this is what these are some of the things you know getting the heart transplant cause but what I'm grateful for is that I have life you know I've, I've, I'm still around them I'm still around my my husband I'm still around my family my kids it's just me as a woman you know I love to do things on my own. I love to make my own money. I love to do things, you know, and I don't like depending on nobody. I don't like depending on anyone. No, knowing that somebody has to die for me to have life. You know? Just like Jesus, he died. For us to have life and have it more abundantly it's kind of touchy it's a, it's a touchy subject because I know that families you know 
you know, facing a lot of hurt and pain and losing a child is not easy. I've never lost, well, miscarriage, but to, you know, have a grown child and then lost that child, I don't think that's easy. So I kind of feel for them and I really don't want to mess up this chance that I got because, you know, somebody else could have gotten it, you know. So I really don't want to mess it up. And that would, this heart would just go down the drain. So it's, it's a very touchy subject. And I don't like talking about it. But right now, I'm so, I don't know, I don't know. I feel so locked up. I feel... How could I put this? I feel trapped. When I look at myself, I don't see me. People may... Sometimes people will say, Oh my God, Denise, you look so beautiful. Your plump face. and But really, I don't feel beautiful. I don't... When I look in the mirror, I don't see myself. I'm not used to this. I'm, I'm not used to this. Yes, it's been two years. December, um, December 31st will be two years since I had the heart transplant but I'm still not used to this because this is not me I can't see me you know I don't feel like how I used to feel and I try every day to, you know, be positive about it, talk positive things to myself. But I don't think this person is listening. I try to, I, try to exercise I do exercise and um, I try to eat healthy I messed up sometime hey we all mess up sometime when we try to be healthy and eat healthy and um, but nothing seems to be working my skin is so I don't even thin. Squeeze me too hard, it hurts like hell. I have very, very, very so those veins, Veracruz vein, and they hurt like hell. It's just so much. It's, it's too much. It's, it's, my mind is so clouded about myself plus other things that just clouding my mind. I, I, I just feel overwhelmed, you know. And I hide these things and more behind my smile. And my... I'm just tired of it, you know. I'm just tired of being like this. So yes, having a trans heart, heart transplant change my life. Change it for the good and some bad. I'm 
I'm sorry guys, but I'm just, my, my mind is all over the place, all over the place. I just wish my body would come back together, you know, come back together so I can be able to do things again, you know, and um, help out my husband because he's the only one taking care of everything, you know. And I don't like it. I, I really don't. I really don't like it. And he... He's doing his best. Honestly, he's doing his best. watch him every day work work help me <laughs> and I know he's trying to hold it up you know act strong for me and the kid but I know he's I know he's hurting deep inside too And nobody, I don't think nobody really understands how frustrating it is. It's frustrating, it's hard. There's so much things we both want to do. You know, but it's it's like every time we every time we step one step forward, we take ten step backwards. Everything just backfired. Like. But I'm not a person to give up. You know, I'm not a person to. Throw in the towel or give up. But I'm so compact with hurt, pain, frustration, ignorance, you name it. I just need a break. I need, I need a breakthrough. No, I need a breakthrough. I need a breakthrough. And I talk to God every day. And sometimes, to be honest, sometimes I feel like He's not answering. He's not listening. I know He's listening. He's listening. You know, He's listening, but. Patience, I guess. So, yes, guys. That's how it is for me. That's how I feel. I feel like this whole transplant changed my life have me in a box and I want to get out that box but I don't know how so okay guys sorry for the that um I will do another video soon answer another question so um, you guys can have a little understanding of what I'm really going through and you know all that so um, 
go ahead like share and subscribe um, and i'll see you on my next video peace merry christmas when it comes